Hello and welcome to another coding homework C Sharp exercise. And in this one, we will be constructing words from phone numbers. Now, each seven letter word corresponds to exactly one seven digit telephone number. For example, a restaurant could have a phone number 825-3688, which corresponds to the word takeout. Because, because number eight corresponds with letter T, number two corresponds with letter A, and number two, for example, or all of them, they correspond with uh, multiple letters. Uh, for number two corresponds with A, B, C, but in this case, we'll simply take the A. That's one of the options. But uh, we will construct all the possibilities, and then we will look if there's any word that actually the business could use. In this case, it would be the word takeout. Another one would be, for example, a liquor, a liquor store could have a phone number 424-7288 and that would correspond with a, I'm sorry, that's a barbershop, not a liquor store, uh, with a word haircut. Because uh, 4 corresponds with A, H, uh, 2 corresponds with A, and so forth. So we would have a phone number like 555-haircut or 555-takeout instead of these numbers. But when you dial the letters, you know, from your keypad, they correspond with the actual phone number. Like I said, there's, a, for example, uh, two three three seven two two six corresponds with beer can, or uh, seven three eight two two seven three corresponds with pet care. And we are supposed to write a C sharp program that, given a seven digit number, writes a file, writes to a file every possible seven letter word corresponding to that number. And we are to avoid phone numbers with digits 0 and 1 because those digits are not used for letters. The letters start from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 0 and 1 does not have any letters assigned to it on the keypad. So uh, let me show you what it does. When I start the program, I get this uh, screen asking for seven digit numbers. So let's, let me uh, enter the 825 and when I press enter, what it does, it goes through all the combinations, all the loop, and uh, it will write into a file all the seven digit combinations for this number. So it exited, and now if I refresh my Solution Explorer here, I get a file called Write Lines, and when I open it, you can see that I have a bunch of seven letters, words, and let me just search for we are looking for a takeout and number 130 sure enough there's takeout right there so um and there's a all together for this phone number there is 2187 possible uh, combinations to construct the word and you can see that the letters for example the first letter it's always T, U, and V, because those are the letters that correspond with the number A. Now, with number two, corresponds letter A, B, and C, so the second one will always be A, B, or C. And you can see that they are A, B, C, and then again A, B, C, all of them as the, we construct the combinations within our loop. So this is the introduction. Uh, and now, let's actually build this. Okay, so the first thing we need to realize is the fact that uh, some of the numbers correspond with three letters, and some, in particular seven and nine, they correspond with four letters. For example, number two corresponds with ABC, but number nine corresponds with W, X, Y, and Z. And again, we have to remember we're not using digits zero and one. So, because we don't know what number, obviously, the user is going to be typing, uh, we don't know if it's going to contain, uh, corresponds with three letters or four letters, we are going to be storing the information into jagged array. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create, a, actually, I'm going to do it in a class level. I'm going to do static. Uh, integer array called 
numbers. And I'll initialize it to new integer of seven because this is the phone number that we will be using, that, that the user will enter. And um, also we have to remember that the user enters seven numbers, but obviously the keypad has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So not all the numbers will be used and some of them will be used, you know, repeatedly like two, two, four, you will have two twos. So, um, like I said, we need to use this uh, jagged array and I'm going to create it static. It's going to be character because we will be storing one character at a time and it's jagged. So it's going to, I'll call it all letters and I'll initialize it right here to the actual, I guess the keypad of the phone. Let me just uh, move this one here. And I'm going to create a new character array and initialize it to the letters A and B and C. Oh, and not two Bs, one B and C, A, B and C. So that is our first uh, key that would be number two on the dial. If you use a presses two, we will have A, B, and C. So that's our first one. Next one will be corresponding with number three, and it's gonna be D and E and F. And I'm gonna create all the others, and uh, you don't have to watch me type it, but uh, I'm gonna create all the other letters for the keypad. So I created number two, three, four, five, six with corresponding letters. Now number seven, this one has four letters in it. It would be P and it would be uh, Q. It would be R and also S. So like I said, this is a, a four letter number, so to speak. And let me create the other two. So I created number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine has W, X, Y, Z. So this is our array. So I can now, uh, oh, this is my final parentheses. I'm gonna just move it here. So this is our jagged array with some numbers corresponding with three letters, others with uh, four letters. So this is our kind of representation of our dial. I'm also going to create an array called uh, another jagged array that will be called letters. This is going to be the uh, array of the letters that the user types. For example, if user types two, two, three, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, but not eight and nine, uh, well, it's a seven digit number. So two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, but not nine, then we will move letters A f f through V into this array. Because like I said, uh, it's a seven digit number, but we have eight numbers available. So we need to figure out what the user actually entered and dismiss the one number or multiple numbers. It could be like two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, or something like that. And we would dismiss all the numbers that the user actually didn't enter and move those that user entered into our array, I'll call it letters. So it's gonna be new character. And we know it's gonna be seven digits, so I can uh, initialize it to seven, but we don't know the, uh, the other part, we don't know what numbers are going to be used. So, and since some of them are three letters and some of them are four, we leave this open for now. And uh, so this is, uh, this, okay, this will be array of letters available from the seven digit number that the user enters. So these are our arrays that we will be working with. 
and I can go to my main now and um, let me just pull this down all the way and um, I'm not gonna do anything in main I'm gonna create two functions first the first one will be public static void I'll call it get input and as it says I will be getting input from the user this is where the user enters the uh, phone number that we are going to be using and the second one public static void and this one I'll call um, get letters variations I guess this is where we will be looping through those numbers or letters and constructing the seven letter word one at a time uh, and all the combinations that we need all right so um, and in my main so first thing I'm going to do I'm simply gonna call the get input and uh, I will deal with the function next but after that we will simply do get letter variations so main will simply call those two functions that will actually do all the heavy lifting